yeah, naturally goes cross seam, um, which again for, for this kind of pitch, where the odd slow ball could be the way to go. A bit of timing, first up, four, four, four. raced off the bat. 23 wickets, so a good time, but he's got another one now. Uh, when your luck is not running for you, it just does not go your way. And Jason Roy throws the bat in the air because he knows he's hit one straight to the only man that could possibly get him out. It's more disappointment for Jason Roy, and at the moment, the man can do nothing right whatsoever. Town was very busy. <laughs> I'm just having a little bit of a lie-in today. Yep. Cardiff a little bit slow today, I think. Not like Riley Rousseau, who's got things underway. Gone. Another one. This time it's short third man who's taken it. Not short fine leg. But the Welsh Fire have gone back to back. Going the way of the Invincibles right now. You might call it slightly fortunate. Matt Maynard would say he loves it when a plan comes together. Scrimshaw with a catch, Payne with the wicket. Finds the gap just behind point on the offside. And that will race away. Zampa can't catch up to it. Yeah, a bit of placement from Jax. It certainly hasn't been straightforward to throw your hands at the ball out there. Oh, a little bit of room. He's cut it away. He's made room because the bowlers have been so good. They've been straight in their lines. Their lengths have been brilliant. Oh. All that. But there's a fielder in position now. No, he misses it. A little bit of a fumble. The ball just kept spinning away from the fielder. They need a partnership fairly quickly. Higgins is going to continue and the keeper comes up. Ah, ah, that's close. Yeah. I think that's out. It's missing leg, it's missing off, it's crashing into middle. Three down. The keeper comes up and makes a world of difference. For umpire long, full slower ball, hit it in front of off stump, would have run on to hit middle and off. Higgins takes the wicket. They start swinging now. That's what they just go that's in practice. It's out to the boundary. It's a boundary that they desperately need. Yeah, there's a little nick. Yeah, that's going to get four. Well played. Fine leg is a lot squarer than that. And launch he does. That is a magnificent strike. And the first maximum of the innings. Just sits right back in his crease. Right back, gets in a very good, solid baseball position and just crunches it downtown. If uh, George Scrimshaw started off the set of six with a with a cutter. Well, that gets past the skipper. A bad bounce for uh, Josh Cobb. Scorches away to the boundary. They need these, they really need them, and that's 100 up. Oh, that's big. That's coming our way. Finally, Sam Curran has nailed one. And it's big. Cut. Doesn't get this one. And he's gone. Really nicely taken by Miller. He made it look extremely straightforward. And for a player of his quality and experience, it was. No, no rush in the Trinidadians. Here's the end of uh, Sam Curran. Oh, he has nailed that. That has been kapowed through wide mid off for four. 50 for Will Jacks. Absolutely crunched. I mean, good, he was slow to start with Will Jackson, struggling along at a runner ball. But the last eight to ten deliveries. Swung away into that big area over mid wicket, and that's going to be another boundary. Oh, he's got enough of that. Put down in the crowd. Oh, dear. It was an absolute goober. Good enough. Short boundaries, of course, straight here at Sophia Gardens. But that man there, goodness me. They don't get a lot easier in the crowd than that. And no one around you. Launched. And nothing Tom Banton can do about that. Smashed away, long on is up inside the circle. That's gone all the way for six. Wide's been full of them in a sober. 
But it is very good striking from a man who's set. He's earned the right to get a few boundaries late in the piece here, has. Oh, and that's where he goes. Not quite fishing it out of the river, but it only has to go over the boundary. Floated up there, waited, waited, and then timed it well. Right in the slot, wasn't it? Oh, smoked. A little bit of fade on it. A little two iron over. Extra cover. Oh, that sounded sweet. And is taken. Really well judged. It's a huge, huge boundary out there. Just what Simon Dorr was talking about. If you're going to go with the slower deliveries, they've got to be into the pitch. He's actually got it pretty well. It's just such a huge boundary. So that's the key from a bowling point of view. Excellent from Duckett. He did. He judged it well. He was about eight to ten yards off. Tom Curran uh, may well have found the boundary with it. Yes, he has. Despairing dive from David Payne right in front of us here in the pod. And that is a very, very competitive total we feel here in the pod. I don't know. Maybe that's old school. Or there. There we go. What about that? What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. It goes for a maximum. Mid-on is now back. But that doesn't matter. Have a look at this. This is what I like to see. Down the ground, nice and straight, spinner on, full face of the bat, 6-6 six, six after 10 balls and 16 without loss. The feet, he talked it up and he's delivered Joe Clark two wonderful strikes. Basically saying, do not bowl spin to me inside the power play. Scented shot, Stooley. Oh, that's beautiful. That was the slower ball again from Tom Curran, and the batter was too good for it. I think he get much better decisions. Reviews, technology's good. Shot! That six hit so well off the bat. Oh, was that one? There is a wicket. Invincibles needed it. They turned to their man, the magic man that is Sunil Narayan, and he has delivered straight away. Well, it's Fire's first wicket LBW. Tom Banton goes back straight in front. A little bit of off spin. Narain's happy. There is that sweep, orthodox, and it finds the gap. It's beautifully played by Ben Duckett. Right handed sweep. This time is Joe Clark. The outcome is much the same. wide yeah, the error there was in the line from Hasnay there's a man out there and it goes straight down his throat his brother takes the catch Sam with the hands Tom with the slower ball and that's a big breakthrough for the Invincibles as he pulls the ball down took some pace off picks up Sam Curran really well. Tom Curran's got a smile on. The Invincibles are happy. Knocked him over. The change has worked straight away for Billings and the Invincibles. Ollie Pope has tried some form of sweep. It was pretty ugly in truth. And Billings calling the shots. Narayan delivering the knockout blow. Brings the Invincibles back into a strong position. Pope goes for that strange reverse sweep that he likes playing. Leg cutter, under the bat, through and hits, off stumped. See that right leg comes forward very unconventional. He's played it before, but Pope has got to go. He goes for a, a duck. Oh, he smashed it, but it's not big enough. He gets one in the ribs and then gets knocked out the very next delivery. It's been an excellent set of five again from the Invincibles. To lose David Miller like that, just as he was starting to go. Picks a long boundary out there, out towards those pockets, the corners of circles, as they say. Inventive and all the way, is it? I think that's gone all the way for half a dozen. A round of applause, and why not? He should do. High and 
far enough, I think this one it is. Into the grandstand, finally they've got a hold of Sonny Narayan. Oh, the, what a response from Narayan, he picks up his third, finishes his set of 20 deliveries, three for 21, and he's gone straight through the Welsh fire skipper. Yeah, once bitten, twice shy, as Sonny Narayan says, and Again, once again, hardly any emotion. We don't see much emotion. It's because he takes wickets whenever he bowls. Bowled him. They're not going to have that in Ben Duckett because he's on his way as well. Sam Curran with the wicket, a swing and a miss, and another good option of slower ball. National bowlers in particular, Sam Curran, Tom Curran, Sunil Narayan. And it's 100 for six. Please. Yeah. Shot and through cover, really good, good straight bat, maybe a little bit too late. Got to 158, they'll be very, very happy. Slower ball, and just sneaks it past Sam Billings for four. Somehow you've got to win your home games. And they're going to go down here, that was the last delivery, done and dusted, they're going to lose by 40. That's a big whack, Dooley. Yeah, tough day out for the Welsh Fire. A very good one. Nice bounce back for the Oval Invincibles after the disappointment against the London Spirit.